The aftermath of protest action in Metlal. The town is the first in Tunisia to mine phosphate back in 1908. But in the past few years, it's been rocked by demonstrations. Despite its mineral wealth, Gafsa remains one of the poorest regions in Tunisia. Since President Zina El Abedin Ben Ali was toppled in 2011, the phosphate sector lost 7.6 million US dollars due to strike action. That's despite strong global prices. During this period, these last three years after the revolution, the company could not even produce the equivalent of one year production before the revolution. This had negative consequences on the profitability of the firm. Protesters are demanding more jobs, but the Gafson Phosphate Company says there are plenty. 3,000 jobs created after the revolution. It is very rare to find the same in any other firm worldwide. There is no subcontracting anymore. There's a wider issue at stake here, though. There has been an increase in lung cancers and other kinds of cancers. Lots of illnesses linked to the respiratory system, allergies and asthma. The cause is the accumulation of waste and the storage of phosphate. And despite the assurances from mining companies in the region, unemployment remains at 14%. So, unless government and mining companies take action, it appears protests will continue and Tunisia will lose out on much-needed revenue. No more. ENCA.com